My research investigates the climate change adaptation industry and I'm interested in analysing this industry in a couple of different ways. Firstly, I'm interested in understanding what some of the effects of these projects are that they're trying to implement and how finance and expertise travel together amongst this industry and how these projects move from place to place in order to try and achieve successful climate change adaptation. So in my master's degree I investigated the Kiribati Adaptation Project which was one of the first adaptation projects in the world that was implemented by the World Bank. Kiribati is uh, made of three strings of islands, the Gilbert Islands, the Phoenix Islands and the Line Islands. Kiribati is one of the key sites of experimentation in climate change adaptation because it is acutely vulnerable to some of the effects of climate change, uh, primarily sea level rise and the inundation of their freshwater source. The Kiribati Adaptation Project hoped to mainstream climate change predictions and climate change planning into their national economic planning processes. And they also tried to implement a couple of concrete uh, things, actually concrete, because they were talking about building seawalls. Investigating Kiribati kind of highlights the acutely asymmetrical nature of, of the problem of climate change. Kiribati is one of the places that will have to deal with climate change, is a low-lying atoll country in the Central Pacific. But us in the Global North, in Canada and Australia and in other places, are the countries that have caused this problem. So one of the problems with adaptation is that rather than um, investing money in changing our consumption patterns and practices in the global north, the things that are causing climate change, money is thrown instead at the vulnerable locations in the global south, those that have not caused climate change but that will have to deal with the consequences. Mm -hmm.